It's finally ready! Yes! Keen-eyed amongst you might have noticed that my workbenches are always full of trash. Not trash, but I have uh, cool stuff like uh, an assortment of uh, screws or random inserts. I have uh, quite a lot of nuts and bolts over the recent uh, last week, so I have to put these in my drawers. Now, uh, that's the problem, putting them in my drawers. Now you might ask yourself, why don't you just put everything that's on top into the drawers? And I will show you. That's why. Look at this ugly, ugly, ugly mess. So I made a sorting system to finally put everything in it in an organized fashion. So I can finally, finally have the smooth and clean and empty workbenches. Ranging from the... Uh, Inserts that will uh, house the uh, potches. These grids are all perfectly made for these sorting bins that will go in like this. As you can see, I have a lot of 3D prints. I think about uh, 9 kilos, all ranging from different brands. They are all PLA. Um, and you might see in the video that there are uh, sorting bins that are longer than the other ones, and that's because of uh, prototyping, fail prints, and a lot of wasted hopes and dreams. <laughs> but make sure the files that are in the description are all uh, printable. As you can see, all these in front of me are all nice and printed like I designed. And I even made some other things like a Forstner drill holder, I made a tap set, and I made a set for wood and metal drills. Printing these, you will need a 0.4 nozzle, two wall lines, two bottom lines, four top lines, 7% infill, just the line one, and 120 millimeters a second at uh, 240 degrees if you are using GS3D PLA plus filament. That's why I have some fail prints, little spoiler. By the way, that's an upcoming video. You don't need to print these at 120 millimeters a second. It was just because I have one printer. Now I'm printing some uh, test pieces to do some strength tests. Subscribe if you want to see that. But if you want to see more about GS3D's cheap filament or the strength testing machine I am printing right now, then subscribe and maybe in a few weeks you will see why you should or shouldn't buy the GS3D filament. A quick demonstration on how it works. So we have uh, four pieces and we have two identical pieces each. So we have a, a thick border. And these are the corner pieces, like this. Then we have another one. Then we have another one, like here. So that's another corner. And then the next two, it's uh, the opposite side, like this. And we have another border right over here, like this. So that's how it fits in my system. So this cabinet is about 11 centimeters high, 59 centimeters wide, and 43 centimeters deep. This is the smaller size. I also have uh, the deeper ones. They fit everywhere.
I freaking love this drawer. We have the drills, we have the taps, we have the uh, drill spacers so you don't drill in too far. And we have the Forstner bit uh, tray, which houses nearly every Forstner bit you might want to need. Another cool thing, if you don't want to uh, spend time to make uh, containers this size, you can just print these and stop them. Yeah, by Z code. So you don't have to print them full size. Nice. And the cool thing about this is, is everything is staying in nice and in its place. All right, that's going to be it for me. I still have some spares left, which I'm going to probably use in the future, but I'm super happy that everything works out pretty nice. I have still some work to do, but that will be for the second iteration. Maybe let me know what you would like to see in the second one or download them and remix them yourself and share them with the community. So supporting me and the channel can be done in two ways. One is free and that's just by subscribing and liking the video and maybe put in a comment for the algorithm stuff. And the second one is right in the description. There you will find the link where you can buy me a beer or two. <laughs> that's all folks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.